What's going on, man? Uh, I've been away for a little bit, so I just watched the Gillette commercial ad, and you know, it was a little disturbing, still, but I'm not surprised. I mean, at first, I, I did want to say the good things I seen from that commercial is that you know, when it was a black man, uh, he had a dis it was a little dispute going on between another young man in the streets and uh, an area I don't know if it was in Baltimore, but it was some urban community, and he decided to intervene and talk to the kids and educate them. So I appreciate Gillette, um, you know, the commercial ad in the whole um, organization is doing that you know what i'm saying showing that okay you know we have some type of characteristics but then as the ad progress it, it it talks about it had a, a woman that's in that was in a position but uh, a man was doing a presentation to some big five 500 fortune company and he was pretty much demonizing her that hey belittling her like hey you you're a woman you know you can't be exposed expressing your ideas and your thoughts this is a man a man's supposed to lead then we had like uh you know men just doing that basic things man having barbecues picnics and all this stuff man and uh you know boys being boys fighting and they was just saying that you can't be using that as an excuse and at the same time i just feel like right now they're really confusing a lot of our women uh, because right now we in the upside down world um the shifts are changing right now i mean it used to be men leading now as you got women leading i think this is pretty much a campaign uh warren towards 2020 when uh, hillary clinton might try to run for president uh have a woman as as a leader and like i said i don't i i, I don't I believe, like like I said, women, men, like I said, it's a good thing that women are getting paid as much as men. But at the same time, though, they still have to be in, in their role. And I just think that in America, especially in general, in the world, but especially in this Western civilization, you're confusing the minds of these young women thinking that, you know, they don't need a man. And for the most part, they don't really desire marriage. A lot of them don't because it probably starts from home. Like they think that, well, as long as I get this nice job and everything, I'm making six figures i don't need a man to take care of me who cares like and once they get older and they kept saying like over oh, their mom or their dad was just stating that hey you don't need a man like make sure you get your education so you won't have to depend on them so financially just in case like he doesn't mess up or he loses his job you already got your own job and uh and i just think at the for the most part it's just playing into negative season to the women right now and in our youth and i think that's why a lot of marriages are not lasting five to ten years or more man because right now i mean people don't really have plans and some people uh, you got some women or men that don't want to really fulfill their goals or their agenda man because in the long run they just there for the affection part and affection the love and the having sex and everything and that's that's the icing of it but what are you going to go is your partner equally yoked are you still are you still able to, you know, uh, just to death do its part, you know, when someone, when she gets sick, or are you able to help with our family members? Are you able to connect and uh, break down generational curses? I mean, we have to really sit down and think about all these things, man. And I just feel like at this moment, uh, commercials and, you know, TV, uh, you had the Incredibles too. You have like Mr. Uh, the last girl i mean she was the leader and all this stuff and the man is just pretty much like supposed to be feminine and i just think right now it's really changing the roles you got the transgenders all these things man it's confusing a lot of people but remember satan is the art of confusion and this is all about this bidding i mean these multi-billionaires who own gillette you know they they know what they're doing it's a mass manipulation thing and i just want to say it's this man um yeah they were demasculating um men there black men and women and i understand that you know the me too movement was a movement of just to help i guess supposedly help men or women that has been sexually abused you know to get some type of rights man and i just think at the end of the day though we have to go both ways because women do the same thing to men and but right now we are at with one another and this is a way for us to create the vision and to conquer we already got the government shut down let's go on tsa workers are not getting paid you know uh, the coast guard and the military they're not getting paid right now from the january 1st it's going to really affect them because they're living paycheck those who are living paycheck to paycheck man so i mean a lot of these things are going on man just because they want to get you no know, funding from the border wall and nancy pelosi is not conceding with donald trump so all these things it's a trickling effect at this moment right now but i think we should need to give back with christ man and according to in the last days it says in the book of second peter hey it's gonna be scoffers and scoffers are people that's gonna laugh at your ideas and talk bad about you you know what i'm saying and um it's not fulfilling your agenda man and so it's gonna say you're stupid or you're silly and you got a lot of these people man spreading false doctrine and ideas 
it's just at the end of the day just to confuse you so you know with this Gillette commercial I'm really not surprised I mean yeah I was a little heated at the same time but listen it is an attack on men and I'm just saying sorry and at the end of the day I just think right now they hold mass agenda is just to eliminate the family structure because if you're not if you're not really with you know the man is not at peace with his woman you know it'll divide the family especially if children are involved man and Satan always want to attack the youth and he want to attack family I just think that right now in this generation, because I do desire to get married, and I want you know women. I'm, I don't mind women working, but still, if you even make more money than your your spouse as a woman, you know, I just still think you know you should always be you know submissive, yielding to authority, especially as a good man. Um, be with him, take care of him, you know, as he's taking care of you, and still be in that role and be um, yielding to to his ideas, man, because he is the head, you know, and I was just thinking that right now they're feeling like, hey, women are the head, and that's just not right to the man, and and it's going to really increase, like, of course, the MGTOW, people are going to say, well, this is why I'm not going to get married, but no, man, at the end of the day, we you got to create a family legacy if, you know, the Lord has blessed you, you know, he says, leave your mother and father, and, you know, those who find their wife find something a good thing, you know, and he should be united with his wife, you should all become one. But they using this as a stronghold to break that, you know, with these subliminal ads. So that's pretty much what I got from the Gillette commercial. It's just pretty much, uh, it's just it's a way, another slap in the face to go against the family structure, man. And it's going to be really difficult. We're really not going to really hear too much of people getting married for 20, 30 years, man, being prosperous, man. Now, it's not even all about money. It's all about fulfilling the God, God's kingdom. And I was just thinking that, you know, we're not doing that through love. We're just doing that through hatred and competition. So that's how I feel with the Gillette commercial. You guys continue to like, comment, subscribe. But um, yeah, I'm not surprised, man. It's in this the last days. So let's gotta get right with Christ, man. And um, yeah, it's it's a division of the family. It's going back to the Willie Lynch uh, letter, man. According to the black man, you know they used to emasculate the black man, they cut his genitals off, beat him, and uh, beat his wife, beat him, and rape his wife. The day was uh, the slave owners were attracted to him, uh, have him go out in the fields and just give him all these different benefits. Like, hey, you don't need this, man. It's all going to do that. They've been doing that since the beginning of time, especially in the 1960s with all these programs. So, but yeah, that's all I got to say, man. I'm not going to run too much, but that's how I feel about that commercial, man. Not surprised. I'm out.